Hello everybody, I'm Dane Richardson and welcome to episode 3 of Q's Conversations ACC Tournament Edition. Now, as you can see here, we have the whole ACC Tournament bracket. Nick and I are going to be picking our separate brackets. I will go first. We're going to start off the first game, Wake Forest, Miami. I think uh, Facilovich for Miami, he's going to get a few big threes late in the game. I like Chris likes penetrating um, defense of Wake Forest. So. I'm going to go with Miami here. It's actually kind of an interesting game if you've watched college basketball all year. Uh, the number 15 seed Notre Dame against uh, the 10 seed Georgia Tech. John Moody, double double machine, leader for Notre Dame. They've already beaten them earlier this year, but I don't think they can get it done. When Michael DeVoe shoots well for Georgia Tech, they also have Jose Alvarado. Georgia Tech does have a stingy defense when they're active. I'm going with them. Final game of Tuesday night's games in the tournament, number 11 Boston College against number 14 Pittsburgh. The winner of this faces the Syracuse Orange. Syracuse has beaten both of these teams twice this year. Pittsburgh just came off an end of the season, regular season win over Notre Dame. Uh, however, Pittsburgh's still a very young team. I see too much Kai Bowman in this one. Boston College moves on. I think this is where we're going to start debating the first round games are kind of dull. Up here, starting noon tomorrow, Clemson, number nine seed against the AC at NC State. Two big bubble teams. Clemson just came off a huge win at home at the end of the regular season over Syracuse. Marquise Reed played well in that one. But Kevin Keats' team, they're a good team. When Braxton Beverly shoots well, they're a hard team to beat. Torn Dorn's a really versatile player. It's going to be close, but I see the Wolfpack pulling it out, probably in an overtime game. Moving on, Miami, Virginia Tech. We're not really sure if Justin Robinson's going to be back for Virginia Tech, but the Hokies have gotten great play from center Kerry Blackshear Jr. of late. Miami, really been inconsistent all year. I think this is the end of their season. I'm going with Virginia Tech. Well, you don't think they're going to get in the tournament? <laughs> Very funny. No, not at all. Heck, I think this one's going to be a blowout. I don't know why, I'm just feeling it. And they face off against UNC for the third time this year, I believe, in the quarterfinals. Finally, Boston College and Syracuse, the 9 p.m. game tomorrow night. Syracuse has already beaten these guys twice this year. A loss to them would really hurt their NCAA tournament resume. They played really bad in second half of late. I just... I think it'll be closer than many people expect. I just can't see them losing this one. Going with Syracuse. On to the quarterfinals. NC State, UVA. UVA. Their defense, their shooting. Arguably, Tony Bennett's best team ever with the Cavaliers. I think there's only one team that can beat Virginia. That's it's an UN, easy pick. UNBC. This is... I like this matchup. But I feel like Florida State's depth is going to outlast Buzz Williams' team. Kevin Gelly off the bench, Terrence Mann, Trent Forrest. Florida State moving into the semifinals. Louisville, UNC. Louisville, arguably their biggest win of the year was at UNC early in the ACC schedule. UNC looked lackluster on defense. They were into the game. UNC then went to Louisville. They got a big win. Third matchup right here between the Tar Heels and the Cardinals. UNC has been playing really well of late. They got a season sweep over the rival Duke Blue Devils. In the ACC tournament, it's in Charlotte. They have the home court advantage. Tar Heels move on. And we move on. Bottom of the bracket, Syracuse Duke. This is also the third time they've met this year. A rubber match. Syracuse is yet to face a healthy Duke team. I believe Zion Williamson's gonna come back in this one. And as much as I hate to say it, Duke's gonna beat him. As you notice, my semifinals, I do have the 1-4, 2-3 matchup. And it's kind of predictable, I guess you could say, but these are the four best teams. Semifinal number one on Friday night, Virginia, Florida State. Florida State, they're going to put up a fight in this one. Leonard Hamilton's team is Final Four caliber. They have a lot of players they can bring off the bench, and when they shoot well, look out. I feel like Florida State has a little bit of a size advantage against Virginia. We saw Syracuse expose that a little bit in the first half, and then they made defensive adjustments. But I think that's going to be the key for Tony Bennett's team. A little bit of a struggle in the first half, but defensive adjustments late. Ty Jerome, Kyle Guy hit a, big, hit a few big shots. Virginia moves on into the finale. And the third matchup of UNC Duke. As I've said earlier, it's hard to beat a team three times. Duke's going to be healthy with Zion Williamson back. It's going to be a heated matchup. 
Duke's going to get this one. Well, it's the first time you didn't pick the higher seed to win. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And another third matchup between these two teams in the ACC tournament finale in Virginia, Duke. Duke's won the previous two meetings. Duke's size always gives Virginia problems, and it's going to happen again. I'm going with the Duke Blue Devils as my ACC tournament winner. Now, let's see if Nick actually agrees with me. I'm not sure if you watch Dane's part, because his part gets a little bit boring, because he only picks the top seed. Actually, uh, the number three seed in the tournament, Duke won, so... Uh, what? Other than Duke winning, and they, they were all okay. high seeds. Well, they were logical picks, so... We really also have a special guest with us, Chris Sugar. He will be commentating on some of the picks. I, he didn't commentate on mine, because mine were so good. But, so, with the first game, Wake Forest, Miami, I'm still going to go with Miami. No one cares about that game. Now, right. Georgia Tech to Notre Dame, I think, might be the best game of the day tomorrow. Today. I think Notre Dame is going to beat Georgia Tech. I can see it, but I think he's wrong. Okay, moving on. Pittsburgh versus Boston College. Boston College is a much better team than Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is the worst team in the ACC. I don't know how Notre Dame got the 15 seed and lost to Pittsburgh. Nick Popovich is going to get 35 points. I'm just kidding. Now, the game after that, Cuse versus BC. Kai Bowman's really good. I don't think he's that good to show up in big games. Ty, he's he's, he's going to win by double digits. Ty's style is better. Chris, do you think, do you think BC is going to be Cuse? Well, I mean, Syracuse isn't at home, so I mean, anything can really happen. You are correct about that. Yeah, yeah. Notre Dame, Louisville, that game's not even going to be close. Louisville's going to win by 25 points. Um, Miami, Virginia Tech, that's also not going to be a very close game. Virginia Tech's going to win that one easily. Clemson to NC State's probably going to be the best game of uh, that Wednesday. Tomorrow, yeah. I think NC State beats Clemson. See, our brackets are pretty similar. I could take Clemson over NC State. <clears throat> NC State's defense is very good. I know they only scored 24 points in a game against Virginia Tech, but I don't see Clemson holding them to 24 Chris, points. Chris, why are you taking Clemson? Why do I take Clemson? I feel as though they have momentum after beating Syracuse after many didn't expect them to. Thursday, NC State versus Virginia. Virginia is the best team in this tournament. I don't think there's any doubt in that. Well, so, according, according to someone. Why did you just write VVA? That's a U. Okay. Now, Virginia Tech, Florida State. Florida State's actually a lot better than people. Wow, he has the he has, uh, same semifinals as me so far, Nick. I felt predictable. He said I was predictable. Well, come on. Make something happen. Florida happy. State is the most athletic team in the conference. I think they might be the most athletic team in the country. They're That's very good above the rim. Yeah, well, what and about they have a Duke? Very good coach, and when they're playing good, they, I don't think anybody can beat them, honestly. That is incorrect. Louisville and UNC. I think that's a tough game. I just don't see Louisville winning a lot in the ACC tournament this year. With their first year coach in the ACC from Xavier, North Carolina will win this Should've one. Should have just It'll had me. Close. Should have just had me pick the bracket. Now, Cuse versus Duke. Zion. This will be Zion's first game back. I don't think the chemistry is going to quite be there. I think Cuse beats Duke. <laughs> Zion's going to bust through another shoe or something like that. Cuse is going to win this game. I'm marking my words. Cuse will win this game. I'm the only one predicting. No, Duke's probably going to be favored by 15 points. Put $100 on Cuse because they're, this they'll win by As much as points. I'd like to see that, Nick, no. This is All where right. picking the higher seed Florida is State a good idea. versus Virginia. I think Florida State beats Virginia. What the heck? Now, a lot of people probably think I'm crazy, but Virginia's been shooting really well lately. In March, they usually hit a slump. They hit a slump when they played UMBC last year. Florida State's a little bit better than UMBC is and much more athletic, and they're the type of team that can pull off an upset because they turn you over, very good at defense, and play very fast. By the way, um, when Virginia played UMBC, they did not have DeAndre Hunter, who's like a top 15 pick, and in this case they do, so Virginia's definitely going to win. Now, North Carolina versus okay. Cuse. North Carolina is home, and Cuse did play that on their home court, and North Carolina dropped 90 points. Cuse's defense is usually better than that. I'm picking Cuse to beat North Carolina. So, in my final, Saturday, Florida State. This is some very neutral. Versus Cuse. Yes. I was neutral. 
I think Florida State's going to be Syracuse in the final. Oh. I, can I think accept, Florida State I can accept that. wins this year's ACC tournament against Syracuse as the runner-up. No. A lot of people probably don't see that happening. Wait I don't four see, days. I don't, I don't see the one losing. And I game. will not be the crazy one. You know, I am the rational one. You see, I don't like them, but don't worry. Don't win the ACC tournament. Don't get knocked out in like the Sweet Sixteen. Did you something. wear the blue for a reason? Actually, no. But I look good in it anyway. That'll wrap up episode three of Q's Conversations, ACC Tournament Edition. Who will win? We'll see you next time.